That's Max Debro, Heather and Terry Debro's 13-year-old daughter, taking the stage with Quiet Riot at the world-famous Whiskey A Go-Go in Hollywood. And as we were driving up, she was like, oh, wait. Is that the whiskey? <laughs> I said, yes! I don't think she realized the gravitas of the whole thing. Only E.T. was invited inside Max's sound check alongside her mom. I know the backstory, but I don't know that everybody knows the backstory of why you're getting to perform with Quiet Riot. Um, so my uncle on my dad's side was the lead singer, Quiet Riot, and then um, he passed away, and so I'm gonna be singing kind of it, um, like what he was doing. <laughs> Come on, feel the noise. Girls, rock your voice. Terry's brother Kevin was Quiet Riot's front man until 2007 when he tragically passed away. Hey, great news for you, you got the job, you're in the band. It was exactly 10 years to the day of his death that Max got to perform with the band. It's a little bittersweet, um, but I know Kevin would be super proud. How did it come together? So, uh, Frankie Benali, who was Kevin's best friend, Kevin Dubrow, Terry's brother, um, Frankie Benali and James Durbin, who's the new lead singer of Quiet Riot, who you remember from American Idol. Frankie and um, James came on my podcast, Heather Dubrow's World, and we were talking and hanging out, and Frankie said, is Max still singing? And I said, yes, and he said, would she ever want to perform with us? And I went, yeah, <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome. Did she give you any advice about hitting the stage? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know something? I asked. I, as controlling as I am, and you know I'm, you know I'm a little controlling, uh, this, that's an understatement. That's a total understatement. <laughs> I know, but when it comes to stuff like this, you know, I believe in her. She's fun and talented and amazing. And I, all I said to her was, have fun. Because that's all it's about. It's a, it's a cool life experience and just have fun and kill it. Is music something you are thinking seriously about pursuing? Um, kind of. I also want to get into the medical field, <laughs> so those are very different. <laughs> but is that so funny? Because I am of the musical background, right. and Terry's a doctor, and so she likes both. So she really is an amalgam of the two of us. And I said, all right, so she'll be a singing doctor. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's a, that sounds like another reality show for the family. Oh, dear. <laughs>